Hi Libra, I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. This is your weekly reading and we are going from Monday the 7th of March right through to Sunday the 13th of March. We have a new moon this week. We have a partial solar eclipse, both of them in Pisces. So there's a lot going on. This is why I thought I'd do the reading a little bit differently this week. See what else we can, we can get. Uh, see if we can specialise it down a little bit be a little bit more accurate see what comes through it's really difficult energies at the moment um, I've seen a few readers on YouTube and I've experienced it myself where I can't get an exact answer on things and I think the answers will come through after the eclipse um, because a lot of us will change our way of thinking or change our perception um, or you know events will come in that will change things over the course of of the next couple of weeks so but I'll see what I can see what I can do anyway so without burning myself uh, we start off with the faith card which is the Hierophant in other packs so and also check out your rising sign and your moon sign and if you'd like a personal reading just click up on the link in the corner which will take you through to the website loads of different readings and prices get yourself booked in I'd love to do one for you and just below are all the um, the extra psychic messages as well for March uh, for your sign and all the other signs. Right, so yeah, faith, which is the Hierophant. Faith is advising to have faith in yourself, but to, you will feel this week like you don't want to do anything outside of the box. You won't feel like you want to suddenly dive into brand new projects or brand new things you'll have this traditional feel um that almost like yeah we're going to wait until the eclipse is over before we make any major decisions uh, we're going to see how the land lies this week we're just going to sort of keep our heads low <laughs> keep our heads low and go with the flow of things if you are you can, if you're joining somewhere that is either a big organisation or it's a group of like-minded people, like you're going to join a spiritual church or you're going to join a gym or you're going to work for a large group of people, that's okay. That's different because that ties in with the Hierophant and, you know, lots of people all on the same wavelength of you. So actually, if you do something like that this week, that would be really good. But... For the rest of you, it's just just keeping things the way they are um, or just just going with the flow, I think, and not making any major decisions until after the eclipse passes. For some of you as well, you will be feeling more spiritual this week, um, more intuition, more dreams, more messages coming through from your guides and angels. And for others of you, this could actually turn into something physical you could have somebody physical come into your life who is going to help you who is going to be who's going to be able to teach you something now your guides and angels always come through can come through through other people so somebody may come in you know you might meet somebody in the supermarket who you've never met before strike up a conversation with them and something that they say really rings a bell with you something touches your core that they just happen to come out with that will be a message from your guides and angels so watch out for things like that they could come in in another way they could come in as you know a friend a counselor somebody um in authority in all sorts of different ways but for quite a few of you somebody could actually come in and help you to move forward or to move in the direction or help you with an answer that you have been looking for. Um, but it's definitely not the week to go. If you've never been skydiving before to suddenly decide this week, you're going to go skydiving. Don't do it. Wait until after the eclipse. Um, so those are the things that you, you need to know um, for this week for what you need to embrace for the week. The things that you need to embrace without me cocking up all the, the cards 
is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a brilliant card for you. You need to embrace the fact that after struggles that you've had, after difficult times that you may have have had, um, things that may have been troublesome to you will start to to move forward and there will be success so if you've been drudging your way through divorce proceedings or paper especially sort of anything that's ruled by authority or government always comes into it paperwork tax taxes things like that it will be done this week or you will see an improvement you will see a moving forward in it this week and things starting to get better you've got through the confusion of something whatever that may be and that doesn't have to be divorce proceedings or anything there is you've got through the the confusion of things and you're moving on to the other side and there will be success on the other side you will feel better about yourself you have overcome certain challenges in your life and now you can start to be able to focus on exactly what you're where you're going and what you're doing this week and not necessarily make the big changes this week wait until after the eclipse but you'll have a renewed a renewed energy to go forward to start to to look at things this week believe in yourself when this card comes up because others believe in you even though sometimes they don't look like they do or you don't think that they do others will believe in you others will actually there might be somebody around you or there might be several people around you not for everybody but for some of you that will change their mind about you start to think differently about you suddenly see you as, as somebody who is successful who is making it on their own who is doing some really good things in their life and just seeing you somehow differently than they did before it's about creating success it's about building your reputation this week it's about knowing um, because you, you want to be successful at what you do but at the same time you want to ensure that others know about it as well so somehow there is going to be a recognition of you doing well doing a good job in whatever area that is this week for you we've got the wheel of fortune now this is in the position of what you need to avoid this week so it's going into um, the reverse position because you actually need to to know what it is in reverse to um, to understand its meaning in this sense. Okay. So in the reverse position, it's saying that there is a lot of karmic things at play that you may have no control over this week um negative things may happen for you during the week that again could leave you feeling powerless or not in not quite in control of everything that you want to keep in control of okay for any of you that do have bad luck it be losing your car keys tripping on a banana skin uh, forgetting your purse when you go shopping it'll be little things I don't think it, I'm not feeling that it's anything big but there could be karmic things at play things happening that you didn't expect to to happen this week and try and avoid these things if you can or if things happen to you during the week that you didn't expect or seem to be karma playing out in your life try and run with it and don't get over overly upset over things okay any any setbacks that you may have in certain areas or anything like that it's going to be an up and down week for some of you 
but don't get disheartened, don't get upset. Go with the flow of things. Go with the flow. Remember what you need to embrace is all the success that you're going to have during the week. The good things that are going to happen during the week. So basically the Wheel of Fortune is saying anything bad that happens during the week, do not focus on it because you will manifest even more of it. Things will happen that will <clears throat> accelerate that the more that you um, concentrate on it. So don't do that. Avoid it at all costs if you can in order to go forward this week. And the last card we've got is the Ten of Cups, which is the way to move forward, the way to go through the week. So it's, it's a pretty straightforward reading. Be happy. Be really good this week. Keep your chin up. Keep smiling. Stay positive. Concentrate on your home and your family life this week and all will be well with the world and all will be well with you. Security. There will be a new feeling of secure, security for a lot of you during the week that you will be really pleased about. So maybe you're not going to step outside the box too much this week. You're going to stay traditional. You're going to stick to the way things are. That's the way to do it this week. It's pretty much a reading about keeping your head down low. You will come out successfully. People will start to recognise you in one way or another. <clears throat> recognise you for the person that you are now. Maybe not the person that you were then. Recognise your strengths. And maybe people have not seen that before, but they will start to see that this week within you and they'll start to see that coming out. But moving forward, get some fun into your life. Have fun at home. Have a happy family life. Be positive about things um, and make some really good memories in, in on your home life this week. But for major, major decisions, it's something you're going to have to try and wait until next week and if anyone is coming in saying signing papers and doing this that and the other if you can hold off till next week i would also do that if you can if you can't it doesn't matter and it's okay um if it's if the wheels are already in motion if it's something that's already been set then yes go ahead but if it's something that comes up new during the week i would hold off if you can until the week after Follow your intuition going forward as well because your intuition will be one of your best guides for this week. Follow your dreams, follow your intuition, your gut instinct and they will tell you where the opportunities are going to lie for times coming up for you. Make sure that you're feeling happy and beautiful and wonderful inside and beautiful and wonderful things will happen on the outside for you, okay? So that's your reading for this week. I hope it gives you a little bit more clarity on, on sort of which way to go during the week and how to um, how to navigate your way through the new moon and the solar eclipse um, to get through. Do what do what feels right for you and what makes you happy this week. But I think for a lot of you, it will be sticking to the simple things, st sticking to traditional things that you usually do and not going too far out of the box unless you're going to go and join a group or something like that which in which case it will um, but for some of you there's help coming in and there is success for some of you as well you've got over the struggles you've got over confusion and you're starting to step into more clarity or you're starting to step into more through the fog and knowing which way to go forward things are becoming very clear for you and people are recognizing that around you as well okay right that's your reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and i'll speak to you soon bye